Allah speaks about two kinds of people in the Quran. When he says, Inna hadaynahu sabil imma shakiran wa imma kafura, that Allah has guided you to the way of truth and shown you the way so you can differentiate between good and bad, between haq and batil, between iman and kufr, tawheed and shirk. You can make that distinction. Allah has shown you that, the, the correctness of the way of haq and the error of the way of batil, of falsehood. Whether you be grateful or whether you are extremely ungrateful, kafur, fa'ul, whether you are truly an ungrateful person. And shukr al-khas and the specific shukr is for iman that Allah gave you and tawheed that Allah made you an ummah of la ilaha illallah and that you don't ascribe any partners with him subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we see it in two ways. Like Ibn al-Qayyim says, Rahmatullah alayhi, shukr al-am, al-mat'am, wal-malbas, wal-mashrib, wa quwwat al-abdan, wa shukr al-khas, al-iman, wa tawheed, wa quwwat al-qulub. The general shukr, my dear brothers, for the fact that Allah has given you food. Just think, Allah has given you food and drink, and that satisfies you. And there are people on this planet, on earth, who don't have food, let alone the big things that we are waiting for in our lives, and the big things we're expecting to happen to us, and the big homes we're expecting to build or to buy. To leave all of this, people simply don't have food. They don't have bread, they don't have water. And Allah requires from you to acknowledge that and think about that. And Ibn Qayyim says there are two kinds of thankful people, even within the frame of thankfulness, the shakir and the shakur. The shakir is the one who thanks Allah for the things he sees in front of him and the many blessings that come his way. But the shakur thanks Allah for the things that don't come his way and for the things that are taken away from him. There are those you see, and the Prophet of course spoke about this when he said, Indeed all of the affairs of the mu'min, the believer are strange. Everything that Allah decrees for him is good for him. And if a blessing comes his way, shakar, fakana khairan lahu, he thanks Allah and that's good for him. And if a hardship comes his way, sabr, he is patient and that's good for him. But then there is those who transcend even that. Because even in the times of difficulty, where people's recourse is to moan and complain and to swear and to abuse and become abusive because they're angry. How could this thing happen to me? But the Shakur is not like that. He would thank Allah in hardship as much as he would thank Allah in ease. He knows because everything is a blessing from him. One of the promises of Allah in the Quran when Allah declared and your Lord calls to be declared if you thank Allah will increase you Allah will increase you but if you're ungrateful then the punishment of Allah is severe if you thank Allah would increase you Ibn Qayyim says whenever you find that people find a loss in their affairs the first thing they should do is begin to thank Allah, begin to make shukr. And by way of that, they would see an increase in their affairs. Sometimes it's the missing link. Oftentimes people say, like, you know, we experience khushu in our salah at fajr time, but by the time it was duhar, it was all gone. And, and we find that we have something good in one place, but then it's finished by the next thing or the next stage. But you simply ask yourself, well, did I thank Allah for that khushu in my salah in the first time? That Allah would maintain it for me for the second one and perhaps the third one and the fourth and the fifth. That if Allah gives you a blessing at one point, did you remember Him and thank Him for that blessing? That Allah would increase you in that blessing. We should remember that, my dear brothers. And one of the ways, my dear brothers, to be, try and become more thankful and grateful people is to take this hadith at heart when the Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Look to those who have less than you. Look to those who are lower than you. 
not to those who are higher than you or not to those who have more than you because if you always look to those who have more than you it will make you undermine the favor of Allah upon you if you're always looking up and you're never looking down and trying to see where are other people so I can be higher than them and never considering those who are low and don't have all the many wonderful things that you have you will begin to underestimate or undermine the favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon you 